mean that you won't have an oh, uh oh moment as we talk today, or uh, that I won't say, who does this, and half of you will raise your hands and half of you won't. Um, they're one of the most difficult things uh, it is consistency. And as staff changes, and as we get been here for two years, different things happen. So this is sort of a, an, an opportunity to audit ourselves and say, hey, are we all on the same page when it comes to subjects like library confidentiality? And do we really understand what the library's um, policies are and how they're being applied? Because I have to tell you, the people that write policies almost never have to actually use them. You know, this talk is really focused for uh, those of you that are at the circulation desk, with the reference desk, frontline kind of situations. And so some of the things that might be real clear to people who write policies, and we do, we work hard on them, and we try and do a good job on them, but sometimes when you're at the CERT desk, it, it doesn't seem as if we've thought about the situation you're facing. So those are some of the kinds of things that we're going to talk a lot about. Uh, about this morning. We're not really going to talk that much about when the police come to the door. I mean, that's often how they title these talks on, um, you know, what to do when the police come to the door. We'll touch on that, but that's not our biggest challenge often in maintaining confidentiality of library records. You know, I would take a police officer any day over an angry mother. <laughs> Just really would. So, we're going to talk about all kinds of uh, different things, but we're going to start. <coughs> this is our, our agenda. We're going to start first talking about privacy versus confidentiality, because as uh, our last speaker um, mentioned, you know, words are important. And often we uh, confuse or interchange privacy for confidentiality. They're not the same. So we're going to talk about how they're different. We're going to talk about why library records are confidential and what our law in the state says. We'll touch briefly on the USA Patriot Act. And then we'll get into what I consider to be sort of the fun part. And that's the what do you do when kind of situation. And I'll ask you to share with me what you do in different situations with the proviso that, you know, no, Nothing is, is said here, you know, is, is going to lead here, right? We're all going to be honest. We're going to say, okay, well, yeah, sometimes I do give that piece of information. <coughs> that kind of thing. And we'll talk about whether or not you want to uh, um, think about things more differently, or a little bit differently towards the uh, end of the presentation. So um, it's a very practical discussion today. Uh, the first piece privacy versus confidentiality. And even the law is not real clear on this all, all the time. In fact, in, in Michigan, um, the, the law that in New Jersey is called the confidentiality law, in Michigan they call it the privacy law. They're wrong in Michigan. <laughs> it's really a confidentiality law, but they, they just didn't know. They didn't know. Um, privacy is about people. Privacy is perhaps the expectation that if you walk into a library and you pull a book off the shelf, that nobody's going to come over to you and say, what's that book and why is it? Privacy is about what individuals do. We try to promote a, a sort of privacy of inquiry in a library, that you can come into a library and look for any information, and nobody is going to make a record of it, nobody's going to um, uh, call you to task about it, nobody's going to know about it necessarily. Confidentiality is about data. Confidentiality is about the data we collect. When you go to your doctor and the doctor wants to test on you, those test results are confidential. Are confidential. They're protected by law. That's data. Doctor, you know, we all know, because every time we go to the doctors now, we have to fill out the sign the form that says we know, you know, that it's confidential. But um, it really has to do, in, in our case, the rules in place, 
regarding data. When we take a book out of the library, we're creating data. When we sign up to use, or sign up or, or use our library card to use SAM, we're creating data. When we go to a library's website and we input a search, we're creating data. So that data may not be collected by anybody. That data may not be traceable. Uh, but that's the, the difference. When we pull a book off the shelf, that's not really about data. That, that's more about inquiry, and, and we try to make that as private as possible. But, and, and the story that I always tell about data is, um, how many of you have those grocery store or, Wal or Walgreens CS cards, you know, they get you 20 cents off the dollar or whatever? I never would have one. never have one because I felt that that was giving away my confidential data, my buying pattern to a company to track it and to market to me based on what I got. And I just didn't think what they were giving me in fact in return, the discount, was worth it. But I was single. And I didn't buy that much at the grocery store. When my parents moved in, access 